Okay. Welcome everybody to the video. Today's video is a guide on the psycho rifle weapon that was recently buffed in Battlefront 2. Um, so I don't want to bore you with this. I'm just going to get to all the important parts. I'll have some timestamps in the description. What we'll do is we'll go over some of the uh, changes that they made to the rifle, some modifications, and then some tips and tricks to get better with the weapon. Um, for those who don't know, I have tons of experience with the Psych Rifle back in Battlefront 1. I have over 7,000 kills with it. So from that, it's got a lot. Of, it's got a little change to it, less uh, bullet velocity. But we'll talk about all of that later in the video. Um, but yeah, I'll get straight to the point. We're gonna enjoy this, and then um, after I'm done with all the tips and everything, then I'll have some highlight clips. I'll have some highlight clips running in the background anyway. So yeah, let's get right into this. The Psycho Rifle, it's the last weapon that you can unlock. We have three modifications that you can unlock for it. The dual zoom that allows you to zoom in twice with, with if you haven't noticed, like, like a lot of weapons in this game have the dual zoom mod. So it's a regular, it's a common mod. Uh, if you press right stick click on console while you're AADSing, it uh, allows you to zoom in twice. Uh, we have the second mod is reduced recoil, where after the, each shot, it doesn't kick up as much. And then the last mod, Improved Cooling, which is actually a little different than I originally expected. But out of all these mods, all of them are great. All of them are great. I've used the dual zoom myself. It's really, it's actually pretty cool. Um, so I'd say all of them are good. Unlike some guns that they have useless modifications, these, all three are good. But one mod that stood out to me that I didn't realize that the power behind it until actually the time of recording this video is the third modification, the Improved Cooling Mod. And what that does is it doesn't give you extra shots, which I didn't understand at first. So the regular Psycho Rifle gives you three shots before overheating. And this doesn't make it five or six, but instead what it does is it instantly cools down your weapon or almost instantly cools down your gun after you shoot one or two shots. I'll have some footage in the background to explain what I'm talking about. But without this card, you shoot once and it'll take about six seconds to automatically cool it down per shot. Uh, but with this card active, it almost does it instantly, which technically allows you to shoot even more than just three shots without overheating. So I think it's probably one of the best cards out there for this gun. Um, so I would highly recommend the improved cooling card. I personally run the reduced recoil plus the improved cooling because I don't really need the dual zoom anymore. I used it at the, at the beginning when I first started using the psycho rifle, but as you get used to it, you don't really need it. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend grinding for the improved cooling. Remember, you can grind for all these modifications in co-op, but you shouldn't need to now considering that they buffed uh, the weapon. Speaking of a buff, we're actually going to cover the damage output of this gun. They recently, in the last patch, I believe it's the Scarif patch, they buffed the weapon from 65 damage per shot, which was horrible. Remember, it only has three shots, but it was 65 damage per shot. It was a three shot to regular infantry, 65, 65, 65, and then four shot to the heavy. These are assuming they're all body shots. Headshots are another number that I'm not going to go through, but three shots to the body and four shots to a heavy which is insane because you wouldn't be able to even do it in one cooling flush. So what they did was they buffed it by 10, which was my actually suggestion. That was my suggestion originally, um, buffing it just enough so that they could keep their damage model almost the same, but making it a viable weapon. Uh, 75 damage to the body and around 145 to the head. So I'm not exactly sure on the headshot damage, but it's around there. It makes them almost zero, almost one health. So it's very, very good. Um, so now, that with those new damage models, it allows you to two-shot regular infantry, assault, uh, assault officer, specialist, two-shot to the body, and then three shots to a heavy, making it one of the fastest time-to-kill weapons in the game, and it, it's able to kill them within one cooling flush, which is very, very good. Um, so that, combined with the improved cooling, the rate of fire that it has, plus its cooling power, it, it makes a very, very powerful weapon in the right hands. So that's why we're here today, because this gun has been buffed, and a lot of people don't understand how and why it's such a good gun now. You'll, I think as we keep playing this game, you'll notice more people, more and more people using this weapon. 
This next part brings us to bullet velocity and bullet drop. Now these two things come in play when you're working with a crude weapon. Although it doesn't pierce shields, you are still working with a bullet as opposed to a blaster bolt. Most guns in this game don't have bullet velo or bullet drop that is because they're blaster bolts, but this is the exception. So bullet velocity is the speed of the bullet and how you have to lead the shot. Where bullet drop is the weight of the bullet and how it drops lower than when you aimed after a certain distance, which is exactly like a real bullet uh, when you think of it. <laughs> so the bullet drop in this game compared to Battlefront 1 isn't too bad, honestly. I was already, when I was playing, I was over aiming. I was aiming way above their head only to realize that it's not as bad as I thought it was, which is kind of good for those who are still learning, you know, how to use this weapon. Um, but yeah. We have that, and then the velocity, I believe that's one thing that you should try to learn on. So, the bullet velocity at ranges, it can, you, you really have to learn how to lead your shots. And how you do that is by just playing the game. You play the game, and what you have to do is you have to watch where you're aiming and just keep practicing. So, you watch where you're aiming, you see how far in advance you're shooting the shot while the person's running, and you'll see me doing in the background, I'm testing it out myself, I'm still learning the the, all the tricks for this gun but as you keep doing it you'll learn how to use it more and more and you'll get used to it and that will allow you to become a better sniper with the gun and that's just mainly for any gun but this gun specifically you got to learn how to use that bullet velocity and bullet drop in order to hit your perfect shots the big tip that I wanna that I use a lot honestly this I don't know some people won't tell you this I don't know how many psycho rifle guides have been out there but for this gun remember this is different than the battlefront one version this is different than any other sniper that they've put out it's a mix between the NT and the IQA so it's a very very good gun uh, we have to take in all that we know that it can two shot people it has three shots before an overheat it's got very little bullet drop and an okay velocity right so with that combination what I've been doing is using the sh second shot I call it a second shot which pretty much is where you press the trigger directly after you shoot the first shot because of its fire rate it allows you to shoot off that second shot before the player will even notice you'll notice me using in the background I'll instead of me firing one shot at a time I'll shoot two so that if I hit the first shot the second one will follow directly behind it and hit them before they even react from the first one. It'll hit them for 75, they go, oh wait, I just got shot, boom, hits them with the second shot, they're done. And that's it. So that's the big thing that I, I have to actually practice for myself because I believe that this is going to be very powerful for this gun to automatically have the second shot go off and with its damage value, I think it could be very powerful. But that's one big tip. And the second one, which I only recommend for some situations, so take this at your own risk, is just spam fire. Honestly, like a heavy weapon. I, I believe that this could work. Um, for close quarters, you'll see in some clips in the background that I actually use this, but I would only recommend it once you use the gold cooling flush. If you have the gold cooling flush active, you can get up to nine shots off before it expires, and that's not what including the star card that extends the gold cooling flush. For those who don't know, if you press the gold cooling flush as opposed to the blue one, it allows unlimited shots to be fired until the certain period ends. So I would definitely recommend trying that out, seeing how many shots you can spam fire. At close quarters, I believe it's very powerful. You know, nine, think about it, nine shots times 75, you're looking at over 600 damage put out within a few seconds. That's insane. No, you could oh, melt okay. a hero from full HP like that, that assuming they don't see you. I'll give that. So I think it's very powerful if you can use that. Take your time, you know, get ready before and a player comes. You wait, you wait, you wait, press the gold and then just start spamming. So for close quarters, I would highly recommend that. Wow, we already hit nine minutes on this video um, because I just wanted to get all these important things out. I'll have timestamps in the description so you can see all this. But uh, yeah, those that's pretty much all I have for today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video. I'll leave some highlights, assuming there are any left because I already filled this up with nine minutes. I thought it was going to be way shorter, but here we are 10 minutes later. And yeah, don't forget, I'll be streaming on Twitch four times a week. If you guys want more guys, like weapon guides like this, I'll let me know in the comments section and I'll get working on it. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.